Hi everyone, it's Kirchi. For this Polly Pocket Showcase, I'm going to be showcasing the fourth and latest keepsake collection, which is called Starlight Dinner Party. It looks like this in the packaging, and it is a recreation of the vintage one. This is the vintage one, and this is actually called Star Bright Dinner Party. And this is called Starlight, so I wonder why they changed the name, or maybe it's a typo or something. But anyway, let's go through the packaging. The first thing I noticed is actually the little specks of paint right there. I thought about returning this and getting a new one, but I wanted to film this as quickly as I could because I really wanted to open it. So I don't want to wait for a new one. So this is a tall and cylindrical package and it's got a bow on top. How cute. It's also got these little star textures. Here's more. There's a shooting star, a moon, and on this side, very cute. And on the back we get some cute little graphics. I love getting poly graphics like this. These little vector drawings. I really love this art style. This fits my art style. And you'll notice that the color scheme isn't the same color scheme they've been going with with the keepsake collections. This is very purple and almost looks like the new Polly Pocket packaging. And the other keepsake collections thus far have gone with the traditional teal packaging or they've gone with blue, but with this one they have gone with purple. I just noticed this beautiful pattern in the background that is so pretty. Without further ado, let's unbox her. I'm trying to figure out how I can save the box. It's like I'm performing surgery. Here are the characters. And here is the compact. It is actually really, really gorgeous. This color scheme, I am loving this. So the exterior has this metallic or iridescent kind of plastic. Over here is the keepsake logo in shiny silver. And on the back is the battery compartment. And this giant pink bow has a star in the middle. So they are definitely keeping on with the star theme. And here is the inside. Honestly, the first thing I notice is this and I can't scratch it off. Just tell me that you guys are okay with it and I won't return it. But anyway, onto the compact. Let's get through all of the details. First up, we have these beautiful transparent double doors and they open up right into the compact. We get to this little patio and then we see a beautiful dining setting. We have a couple chairs here and they do spin so we can change the direction. And here is our candlelit dinner. These are the two candelabras, I guess. And it looks like we are having some dessert. And on this dessert cart, we can actually change what is on the table. We just push it like this and it's magic. Let's see what we got. It looks like star and moon shaped cookies. And this is soup with, again, more star aesthetics. I really love the star aesthetics that they have kept throughout this compact. And then back here, we have a beautiful cityscape and it says Pollywood, I think. It actually just says Polly, but wouldn't it be cool if it actually said Pollywood? That would fit so much better. And we can move these curtains around to reveal more graphics. Here's a bunch of trophies and awards because we are a three-star Michelin restaurant. And then over here, we have a picture of Polly and a picture of a couple heart compacts. I love these curtains. They also click into place really easily. It's pretty satisfying moving them around. And then on this side, we have a little lounging area or it's just a place to hang out and talk before you have your dinner. And again, we have more star themes here. The pillows are stars. The rug is also a star. And there's even a little stereo back there so you can listen to music. And then we have this bright orange and pink fireplace. And right through here, we get to the kitchen. This is where all of our delicious food is cooked. And it looks like we spilled some ranch dressing. Oh no, here is the sink. We are cutting up some vegetables. Here's the stove. And here is our fridge full of refrigerated items. The only thing I can recognize is milk. Then we are going up the stairs onto the second level. So much detail here. First up, we have our bathroom. I already really love how this mirror looks. It actually looks real, especially with the lights around it. Here is our sink. We have a cute little lavender toilet and a silver bathtub. And those are all of our bath items. More star designs here, very pretty. Ooh, I also like the texture of the bathroom. And then over here, we just have a little mud room. At least I think it looks like a mud room. I see some raincoats and an umbrella, rain boots. And up here are just some beautiful decorative plants. And then we have this giant spiral staircase that takes us to the second level where we have a vanity with a star in the middle. And here is our closet. We have a cute dress on this side. 
And on this side, we have a princess dress. And finally, on the top level, we have a set of table and chairs where we can hang out, have a few drinks under the stars. There is a star-shaped lamp here, another decorative plant. And on the background, we have a crescent moon and stars, and these are all illuminated when we turn on the lights. Speaking of lights, we are going to install the batteries. I'm just going to unscrew this with this little baby screwdriver. And it uses two AA batteries. Put this back on and close it up. And to turn on the lights, there is a little switch here and you just press it and voila. The lights are actually very bright considering I have filming lights on right now. My only issue is the candles don't light all the way. It's just the first tower. I guess if I angle it, no, it's still only the first one. Here it is in darkness and the candles are actually a lot brighter. And this is really cool. The fireplace flickers. Look at that. That is so awesome. I don't remember if the vintage one flickers. And on the second level, it is even more gorgeous. The lights are super, super bright. Look at that mirror so bright. The light in the closet, very vibrant. And the star that is so pretty with the little stars behind it and this area. Oh, I forgot that the new Keepsake Collection compacts have a timer. Starlight Castle also had a timer, so I'm just gonna turn that back on. I think it's 30 seconds, maybe a minute, I'm not sure, but anyway. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. This is actually my favorite. I love that it's flickering. I just wish it didn't have a timer. Now onto the characters, starting with Miss Polly. She has a periwinkle outfit, a little blush pink bow, and her hairstyle is a little strange on her. Maybe it's her face, I'm not sure, but something is a little off with her. I think maybe she needs bangs or something. I don't know. And I think this is also Polly and she has had an outfit change. Her hair is up in a high ponytail, with a periwinkle bow. She has this gorgeous, gorgeous dress with a little gold trim, beautifully designed. She has some star embellishments and she has a tiny corsage. And this is the recreation of her friend Dana. She has pigtails, she's wearing a lavender outfit and she's holding a present. You know what I just noticed? All the keepsake collection characters have this little hole at the bottom. They all come with these little holes so they can fit on the pegs on the new Polly Pockets. Look at that. Have I mentioned this before in my other showcases? Because I swear, I just noticed. I literally just noticed right now in this moment. Did someone mention that to me subconsciously and I forgot? That is really cool. I actually like these characters a lot more now because there's versatility here. Wow, that is really cool. And now let's do a comparison. Right away, change in color, very obvious. The logos are obviously different, but the bow as well. The Keepsake Collection focuses more on a star design and the vintage one has a traditional bow, but they're the same size, same thickness, same weight, roughly. The latch is a little bit different as well. One noticeable difference though is the battery compartment. So a lot of people do get confused with the vintage one on how to change the batteries. As you can see, it's not as straightforward as the Keepsake Collection. So with the vintage one, you do unscrew it here, but you also remove the platform to change the batteries. So the batteries actually live under this platform. Now for the interior, and I always say this about the vintage Polly Pockets, but I love how we can change the angle of the compact when it's opened. And with the newer ones, you pretty much either lay it all completely flat or 90 degree angle. The doors are a little bit different. I think this one is just faded because it's vintage, but they have roughly the same design, except the handles of the door are star shapes. And over here, they're circles. With the newer one, we have a cityscape with the word Polly, which should be Pollywood. And with this one, it's just a cityscape without the word Polly, so we could be anywhere. And we also have sliding curtains. And this one, there are little star embellishments on the curtains. The food is also a little bit different. With this one, we have a little bit more 3D food. Here are the other ones. And this one, they went with a more flat design. The candles are also a little bit different. These are thicker, these are thinner. And right back here near the switch, there is a tiny TV and this one is a star. I'm not sure if that's a TV or what device that is, but it's just a little star. And the switch is also another noticeable difference. 
So this one is a lever type switch. And this is a button. The elements in the fridge and in the kitchen are also a tiny bit different. So it's not an exact copycat of the mold. And then we have the living room and this one has your traditional square pillows. This one has star pillows. So this has a lot more star aesthetics. I would actually say this one stays more true to the star bright name. And then on the second level, I do like how the raincoat and umbrella and things on this side pop out a little more. They're more 3D. And on this one, they're a little bit flatter, but otherwise everything is pretty similar, just different color scheme. And this one has the stars yet again. And this one is just bricks. Same thing in the closet. The keepsake just has more star aesthetics. And on the top, the keepsake one has added more shapes. In addition to the moon and stars, we see shooting stars. We see those tiny little circles. And in the vintage one, we just have a crescent moon and a bunch of stars. You'll also notice that the stars have sharper edges. And over here, they're smoother and rounder. And it makes them look a little more cute. The chairs are also different. Again, with this one, they opted for star designs. And this one has hearts. And this one has a more traditional light post appearance. And this one is star-shaped. The color scheme is one super noticeable difference. This one obviously stays true to the 90s, maybe even early 2000s with a neon green and bright pinks. And this one opted for more muted pastel colors. And for the first time ever, you guys, I'm gonna say that I think the Keepsake Collection is on par, if not better, than the vintage one. I know, I can't believe I'm saying that either, but I really love the updates they made here, how it's not an exact copycat. But in terms of the aesthetics, aside from that spillage, they are pretty on par with each other. Here are the lights. Right away, we see that the Keepsake Collection has warmer lights and these have a little bit cooler lights. It's more of a white tone. Down here as well, here's the dining area compared to this one. I will say that this is a little bit brighter, but that's because it's newer. But this, for being 30 years old, this is still really, really bright. The quality is just so good. And I was right about the fireplace. This one flickers, this one does not. And I do like the flicker. I think it's a really nice touch. Stop turning off! This is by far my favorite keepsake collection so far. It is just an amazing reboot of the vintage one without straight up copying it. The only reason why this wins by one point is because the lights keep turning off on this one and I just really wish they would stay on so I can keep them displayed. And here's a comparison of the vintage one versus the keepsake one. And I think what is off about this one is she is showing too much forehead compared to this one. So I think if we bring her hairline down just a little bit, she'll look just as cute, but they are roughly the same height. She just has a bigger head. And here is the second Polly. And I did redraw her face back when I was redrawing Polly faces. And looking back on it, I actually really don't like what I did, but it is what it is. I've already done it, so <laughs> I'm just gonna live with it. But she has a dark purple dress. Hers is pink. I think if I give the new ones just a nice glossy varnish, they'll look really nice. And here is Dana. I like her dress a lot more because it just looks fancier with a silver and she has more of a casual outfit on. But I do like how she's holding a present. It does kind of change the tone of the compact. Like, is this Polly's birthday? It's supposed to be a dinner party, but I thought it was just friends getting together. And now, since she's holding a present, Maybe it's Polly's birthday. And that is Star Bright or Starlight Dinner Party, Keepsake Collection, and Vintage from 1994. I absolutely love this. I think this is the best Keepsake Collection that they've come out with so far. It stays true to the original while still being unique. And they made updates here that are just such great improvements. I also love how these characters can fit in the new Polly Pocket Compacts. So I do highly recommend this if you're just picking one Keepsake Collection. This is the winner. And thank you guys for watching this Polly Pocket Showcase, and I'll see you on the next one.